What's up guys, hello and welcome back to another Explore. Uh, today we're going to be going out with my dad again, uh, which is something we did a few weeks back when we did the, uh, the train yard and the lab. So I'm just waiting for him to turn up now and then we're going to possibly two sites today, but again for you guys it'd be two separate videos. Obviously it depends on how things go as to how many sites we go to, as we found out recently on this channel. Obviously I've been caught a couple of times and if you guys didn't know, the last video we did got featured in the Swindon Advertiser and I made a whole video on that if you guys to go check that out i'll put it in the card somewhere up here on screen and i'll put it in the uh, description down below as well hopefully this one won't get quite as much exposure as that one did well at least not negative exposure anyway also do you guys like my new hoodie so I got this hoodie made up, it's got Taser Urbex on the back as well and I'll show you a picture of that on the screen so you guys can see. Uh, it's about £28 to make, um, but I'm really, really happy with it. Looks awesome and uh, I've always wanted something like branding wise to wear when I go out and do explores. So now I've got this, this is really awesome. But I want to know if you guys think I should maybe start selling this in our in-house store because I could do this one. But if I was to do that, it would be about £35 because obviously with postage and packaging and me making a little bit of money on it as well, uh, it's going to be about £35. But if you guys would like to get your hands on one of these hoodies, let me know know um, and maybe I'll put them up on the store. Okay, so we found the location, just trying to see if we can find our way in. Run next to the road though, so. <laughs> okay, so we're inside uh, the site and it's just, just all open. <laughs> it's really easy to get in. So first things first, we came in out and there is a random caravan here. So yeah, I think this is like a traveler's uh, caravan thing, probably after the site closed. So it's a, <laughs> uh oh, we're gonna need to blow that. Don't look at that. <laughs> Not much in there really. Average caravan. Okay, anyway, let's go to the main event, which is the school, obviously, that's why we're here. So, I just thought this was a bit of an extra. <laughs> so, I'm sure people are wondering, I should ask you this, how are you feeling about the fact that I got featured in the paper? I think it was a very positive move, actually, and you've got uh, some good press there, <laughs> and uh, hopefully get a lot more views out of that. Well, the, the press itself wasn't very positive, though, was it, really? It wasn't too bad. It could have been better, sure, yeah. but uh, you explained yourself really well in the article. I know a lot of people were thinking, oh, what if your parents see that? And, you know, seeing as I got one here, I thought I might as well ask. <laughs> <laughs> see, my dad's well, fine with it. <laughs> no, I think, I think it's fine. I think uh, you should uh, carry on. There we are. Door's wide open. So from what I know about this school, um, this part I'm getting right now was built in 1880. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen, but I'm pretty sure it was 1880. And then the later part of the building was built in, it built in the 1990s. And apparently it's been abandoned since 2005. Over stairs down right? Hang on, I'm just getting these stairs. I say, because these stairs don't look all that great. <laughs> oh my God. Come here, have a look up. So that's the ceiling. <laughs> that is completely wrecked. Okay, we've got kitchens. Kitchens, you reckon? Yeah, kitchens through it. Come on, this is, this is a proper dilapidated building. I'm guessing that's all falling down from the chimney. Mm. I've got the big, big Twitter wall and Instagram. Uh, it's actually got uh, what they had as well. It's like cheesy rolls, sausage rolls, sausages, cheese and pineapple, chicken nuggets, carrot, cucumber, tomatoes, crisps. Just one can't spot tortilla. <laughs> tortilla chips, bread and cheese. Oh, that's it. Oh, volivons. Volley. Wow, how posh are they? This school gets volivons. Mm. <laughs> Samosas. It's their genuine menu. Genuine ice cream. Well, that's true, but it does look pretty genuine. I mean, it's like. Actually, yeah. on. But I suppose that's true, it might not be a gym menu. There's one of the fluids over there. Uh, they are washing fluid for a dishwasher. So that's, mm. what, that's what this is. It's obviously a dishwasher here, this is like the um, detergent and mm. the rinse aid. 
Oh, toilets, we found toilets. So, well, these genuinely have been the school toilets. These are rancid, they're horrible. Up there is the, the, the ceiling, and obviously the ceiling is completely torn apart, but the light bulb is still there and still intact. Do we want to risk going upstairs? Uh, actually, the stairs there look a bit flat, actually. They look here, they're okay here, but then you get a bit further up and they're, um, they're not in great condition. Yeah, they're, they're really wobbling, they're not yeah. safe. Yeah, they're good, that's what they're... Yeah. Okay, so these, yeah, these are too dangerous, we're not going up there. Yeah. <laughs> So I just want to show you because I, I know some of you guys will be like, oh, you was, you should go up there. But look, this is the under the stairs. So that's what the under the stairs are, which isn't too bad. I'll be honest, that's not that bad. But at the very top of the stairs, just here, this is what it looks like. There's beams falling down and it's collapsed. Uh, that's actually off the wall there. So we're, we're, we're not going to risk it. It's not worth it. This is like the courtyard and the playground. And you can see there's like another building over there and it goes all the way around in like a U shape over to there past these trees and there's a bit more of a playground over there as well. So there's still quite a lot to look at. Oh, here we go. I think we found the actual toilets. We found the actual toilets. This looks more like it. Yeah, so this is like an room and they want to strip it all out but this is where the toilets would have been. It's like you can see by the marks on the wall. Like the toys were then. I think we found our first classroom. <coughs> Creepy door. <laughs> so just, just come in here. And there's a really nice hour. I'm actually amazed this hasn't been uh, graffiti on. This stuff just pulled down. I always wonder why, why this stuff is like hanging down like this. I assume it's like when they're going to take the building apart, but that's just an assumption. Oh, postman Pat! That's cute. <laughs> what the hell is this? So. Looks like there's more out there. I'm wondering how we get to that. Okay. Ah, it's a drawer. Good. Jesus. There's the playground now there. It's like completely covered in stuff. Looks like there's one of the buildings over here as well. I don't know if you guys can see that part. There's like two buildings here and like here. I wonder if that's like this as well. Play them somewhere. Walk straight through a cobweb. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it's funny, but it's something you don't really see very much as well. Like, you expect there to be cobwebs in every abandoned building you go to, but actually, you don't often see very many. No. Tons of spiders. Tons of <laughs> Another toilet. <laughs> I tell you what, they've got even more toilets in classrooms at the moment. That plane is going over the top. Yeah, it's certainly was. I saw a drone and they're like, oh, it's quick. Find them. Here we are. This is the actual, this is, what's this? Um, nails and stuff in this border, right? Alright, it's the guttering. <laughs> so believe it or not, this is the actual playground. Now you tell me, would you like to play in here? Because I certainly wouldn't. <laughs> I 
This is their field as well. Look at this, it's massive. This is their school playing field, isn't it? School fence over the far end. Yeah, there's an old school fence over there. And this is the, the school's playing field, or was the school's playing field. It's insane. You think I've got school playing fields? I mean, I'll put an image on, on, on screen of a school playing field in England. This is what we kind of expect them to look like. It's like playing grass. <laughs> and then you've got like a meadow, <laughs> which is cropped up in its place. Nice, I like that. Mm. It's got like stone here, I don't know if it's a car park or... What, an old car park? It would have been a tennis court or something maybe. They do have tennis courts. I remember them reading they had tennis courts. This is a tennis court I think in that case then. Oh, hang on, I mean, the overgrown tennis court. I do remember them... part of the building over there. Yeah, I do remember reading. Yes, yeah, tennis court, look at the pole. These poles on the side here. Would have held the net. This would have held the net and gone straight across. As, yeah, yeah, I can see there's a pole in the bushes over there. You probably can't see on camera. But there's another pole over there somewhere in the bushes. Just like there. But yeah, would have had the thing go across like that and they would have played tennis. Very posh school. Have a tennis court. Can you see this? The lines are still here. The lines still there? Yeah, yeah. Not the most sensible option today. I'm wearing shorts. I've got a thorn on my leg and it hurt. <laughs> Come on, sympathy for Taser, please, in the comments. <laughs> and that looks like there's the main car park gate to there as well. I don't know how much again you can see, because again, eyes are much better at looking at stuff through trees and stuff. You can see, you can focus on different things. You probably just see a bunch of trees. But there is a fence just here, uh, and a wall goes across here. You probably just want to see that, because I can see their colours. And there's a building here, which I think is part of the same building over here. We're going to go in in a minute. Uh, the Anne Mays Hall? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Let's get the shit out of me. <laughs> fucking pigeons. Right, as I was doing, I was reading this. Right. The Anne Mays Hall built to celebrate the Flexland's 50th anniversary, opened by the founder and the first headmistress, Anne Mays, on the 9th of June in 1990. So that's kind of sad because again, 15 years after that, this was built, it was closed. It only opened 15 years. Okay, I'm going to go in. Okay. I'm in. <laughs> Chill, yeah, there'll be place there. No, we're there, right? Really. Yes. It has a safety post now. <laughs> <laughs> these are really how low these are. How low down they are. Yeah, I feel really low. I thought this is right. You, love, you know me and paper, I love looking at paper. So we've got Autumn Fees, Sea Life Centre. The hell? Hampton Court. Are these like school trips? Oh, I don't know. It looks like it might be like school trips. A, I don't know what this is for, but it's like a bit of sort of uh, expenditures for the school. Mm. Hey, buddy. What's that? <laughs> it's a dust mite. <laughs> well, this was previously a narrowed shop when it's been opened. Oh, wow. This is cool. Oh, my son would love this. Tay Tubbies! He's got obsession with Tay Tubbies right now. Someone's made their own swings. That is, that is definitely what someone's done to make a swing, isn't it? Want to swing on it?
Okay guys, so that's pretty much it for today's explore. We've gone through everything, so I'm gonna leave you guys with some bits, uh, like stills and maybe some more drone footage as well. Uh, I think there's like a little garden thing which I'll show you as well at the end of the video, but thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did like this, please leave it a like and a comment down below, and I'll see you again next time. Bye. I don't know where my dad's gone. Disappeared. You upstairs? What? You upstairs? Yeah. Okay.